Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I decided to make a weekend vlog while we were already out at this fall fest. I just decided this would be a really fun weekend to make a vlog because we had some fun stuff going on. So sorry I didn't record an actual intro. So this is it. So we started our weekend um, at this really fun fall fest at this farmer's market that we love to go to and it was a lot of fun with the kids but it was also super busy and a little bit stressful. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down We all ended up having a really fun morning there um, But we were really tired afterwards So we rested for a little bit and then we were ready to go out again in the evening. We wanted to do a little Sam's Club run and get dinner at Chick-fil-A and just spend some time together. Always fun to go through the, the car wash. <laughs> All the lights. I'm getting so hot. What happened to your hair? You ready? Show, show me. Hey, I need one of those to pick stuff up off of the floor. Is that a doggy? Over what? here, Emma. It's over here. Oh, oh my goodness. Who's that? Scarlett's been really into jewelry making lately, so the main reason we came here was to pick up some things so she could make a little charm bracelet. Oh my, yes, that's awesome. <laughs> Did you find Santa? Hey, Emma, what does Santa say? <laughs> Pretty close. Get this, get this. It's like vacation Santa. Mm. We decided to take her hair out in the car. It looks, looks beautiful. So it's not worth it to try to fix it though. Bigger than Mimi's? Let's see your hair. That's that bigger than Mimi's? Maybe. No, that's so beautiful. Small. Emma's in heaven. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. This one's a little creepy. Oh, the ghosts are cute. Emma, <laughs> that's a great angle for the hair. You're in heaven. Do you like that? It's fun to take the kids and get some Christmas gift ideas this time of year. You like these, huh? I couldn't handle the hair, I had to fix it. <laughs> It is Sunday now and um, it's October 1st. T typically we would be headed to church, but we had a bit of a rough night last night sleep wise. So we're gonna watch the streaming um, video of church instead in a little bit here. But it's the first day of October, so it's a big day because we get to put up our little countdown to Halloween chart here. Um, we've got this little ghost and we put them on one because it's October 1st and he'll make his way down throughout the month to Halloween right here. My husband's aunt got this for us when Scarlett was probably like a toddler and we look forward to putting it up every year because we love Halloween and October. Luke. 
had to play this morning. Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon now. Um, I am just checking in here. The rest of my family ran to, uh, somewhere real quick. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and be real and honest. I don't like YouTube channels that like act like everything is perfect all the time and it's not. So <laughs> I'm here to talk about like some of the more real um sides of motherhood I guess and um a little bit of the backstory last week Luke was out of town for work so I was the only parent all week until Friday um with his job he has different contracts with different places some of them are close and about once a month he has one that's far away that he'll have to be away for a week sometimes more and um at the end of last week we found out that he was going to also have to be gone next week and that's just the worst. <laughs> Wait, luckily, he's able to come home for the weekend and then leave again Monday morning. But I'm just like struggling with it. It's just hard being the only parent. Like I can't imagine being a single parent or a military spouse or something like that. Like my heart really goes out to you because I have a hard time just dealing with once or twice a month, um, which is nothing I know compared to that. But I talked about the, this in my video about um, my first year as a stay-at-home mom but there are moments in every day that just make my heart feel like it's going to explode with love and happiness because of my children. And then there are really hard minutes every day too. Um, we were going into this weekend thinking like, let's try to make this a really fun weekend. Let's spend time together. Let's do some fun things. And we were looking forward to it, although I knew I was gonna be a little bit sad too that Luke has to leave again tomorrow, but you know, you can't control everybody's mood and um, it ended up being kind of a rough weekend. What I've shown so far has definitely been more of like the highlight reel and um, it's been, we've had some moments, we've had some frustrations and some arguments and I mean, just being real, what family doesn't, but yeah, like last night when we went out, everybody was just having like moods. <laughs> Emma didn't really nap well yesterday and that just threw her off for the evening and um, it just didn't go like this happy picture I had in my head which is so true of like a lot of things in motherhood. I saw this this meme once that said something like every time I try to go out and do something fun with my kids they make it not that way <laughs> which it's not my kids fault. Kids are kids and they're totally normal doing totally normal kid things and sometimes my expectations are too high too but all that to say like this has been kind of a hard weekend and a kind of a hard couple of weeks I don't even know why I'm getting like slightly emotional about it I guess it's just pregnancy hormones probably have a lot to do with it but um I'm just like really not looking forward to next week and um I think it's kind of like ruining my mood today but yeah, not every day is perfect and not every day is happy and it's just been a hard weekend. It has. Um, but this afternoon we had, we've had sleep issues this weekend too with naps and bedtime. I'm not crying anymore. My eyes just still watering. We've had like sleep issues this weekend too with naps and bedtime. And when one kid is up late, the other kid is up super early and it's just, I haven't had much sleep and that, you know, makes everything 10 times worse, especially being in my third trimester of pregnancy. So this afternoon while Emma was napping, um, I I just closed the door to my bedroom. I said, I'm, I need some time. I need a nap. I need a, some rest. And my husband was um, really, uh, he was fine with it. He's like, okay. And he and my older daughter kind of just rested too because everybody was a little tired. Um, so I shut the door to the bedroom and laid down and I slept for almost two hours. It was like one of those naps where you wake up and you're like, what year is it? What's going on? So I felt a lot better after that. Now we have this evening together. I'm going to try not to let my sadness about the rest of the week kind of affect how tonight goes. So um, Luke has some fish that he caught over the summer. We're going to have like a little fish fry tonight. Um, some fish and french fries and... We have not eaten the, the most healthy food this weekend. We don't always just only eat, eat out and eat like fried foods, I swear, but but that's just how it's ended up being this weekend. We'll get, we'll get back to healthy eating tomorrow. But 
Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna do that. Luke took them for a little while. So I get a few more minutes of quiet. So I feel like I can kind of just breathe. And I feel like I just really needed some time to myself this weekend. So I'm glad I got a little bit of that today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. We're going to, maybe we'll play outside a little. It's like 80 degrees out there. Yeah, what was I gonna say? And then, oh yeah, Sunday nights, we um, we always watch AFE. It's kind of like our family tradition. And tonight, it's like the first episode of the new season. Um, so that'll be fun too. We'll all cuddle up on the couch. Emma used to go to bed pretty early. Like we'd start putting her to bed around 7.45 back like at the end of last last year when the, the AFE episodes were on. But now she goes to bed closer to nine because if we try to put her to bed earlier than that, it's just we're just fighting a losing battle anyway. So maybe she'll watch with us tonight. I don't know how interested she'll be, but I bet she loves the animals. So I'm sure she'll think all the funny animal videos are hilarious. So all that to say, like, it's okay if you're not happy all the time in motherhood. It's okay if you looked forward to it and you're realizing it's a lot harder than you thought it was gonna be, because I think that's normal. Um, I went through infertility for a long time and sometimes I feel guilty when I'm not like, taking advantage of every single moment, but like, that's not reality. Not every moment is magical and that's okay. So if you're having a hard day today, like know that I'm with you, I feel you and that it will get better. All right, I'm gonna work on a couple housekeeping things while they're gone. So first of all, these hydrangeas that I brought in from outside um, a few months ago, or not a few months ago, a few weeks ago, if you saw my decorate with me video for fall, um, I think they still look really pretty here on my dining room table but they're starting to get like a funky smell. So we're gonna get rid of these. And yesterday when we were at the farmer's market, market, I got a bunch of little gourds and pumpkins. So I thought I might try to fill this basket with those instead and we'll see how it looks. it needs a little bit more or maybe some greenery or something but for now it'll be okay maybe we'll add more this week and I do not go all out for Halloween decorations I do I put most everything up in the um, beginning of September so the only things I really have that are Halloween are this cute little haunted house, which is probably my favorite um, piece of ball decor that I own from TJ Maxx. Um, somebody bought this for my daughter last year, this cute little bat, and Emma loves it so much. It got kind of bent in storage, but I hung it up, so we'll see if she notices it when she gets home. And then of course, the little calendar that I showed earlier. So yeah, we keep it pretty simple, minimalistic as far as Halloween goes. I never really showed what we ended up getting yesterday at that cute little farmer's market either. So I got, got more of these sour jelly pumpkins. Um, I bought them like a month ago and we are out. I won't tell you who ate most of them. Um, these Scarlet just wanted, I hadn't had them before, um, salted corn chips. So these are really good. They're super crunchy. And our whole family loves kettle corn, except Emma, because I don't give her popcorn yet. She's too young, but I'm sure she would like it if I let her. Um, so I had to get some of that. I actually haven't eaten much yet, I'm surprised. I got some of this Gugisberg cheese, which I showed last time we went to this same place. Um, like I said, I get it every time. It's delicious. Made in Amish country, and they sell it at different places throughout the state. And this is not food, obviously, but um, since it was just kind of like a fun once a year fall trip, we do it every year. Um, it's kind of a special day. I let the girls pick out something small from, they have a little toy section in their pumpkin pavilion shop. So um, they got this cute little monster stuffed animal and these cute little finger puppet monsters. <laughs> And then also in their little pumpkin pavilion, um, I saw these little marshmallow hot cocoa toppers and they're pumpkins. And I just thought those were so cute. So um, I got a box of those 
and it's supposed to be in the 80s all week, which honestly I'm not excited about. I'm ready for fall weather, but when it does cool down again, these will be so much fun. And I just got a text from Luke that the girls want to go to the park, so they're going to pick me up and we're going to head over there. So that'll be a fun way to end the afternoon. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to say that we ended the weekend on a good note. We had a nice dinner. We had fun watching our show together. So I'm glad we were able to end everything on a good note. That is it for today's vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. What did you get? Whoa. 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 Can you show me how you walk in that thing? Why is that so funny?